my name's Waylon Brown. I go to Coromandel Area School and I'm 15. I'm pretty interested in the sea and looking forward to well, what opportunities I can get. To get a feel for working in the aquaculture industry, Waylon's heading out from Coromandel to a mussel farm. His family work in the industry, so he already knows a bit about the job. MD of Greenshell, yeah, Peter Vitasevic, will be showing him the ropes. The ideal people for us are someone with that hunter fishing mentality. You know, once you've got the, your sea in your blood, you always want to be on it. Um, the hours are long, so we're looking for young, fit people that are, are used to being on the water. The farm is a 45 minute trip okay. up the Coromandel coastline. Wayland's quickly put to work. I think we're looking for young guys to come into our industry. There's a shortage of good labour. Well, the conditions that we work in sometimes can be, you know, pretty rugged. It's nothing for this vessel to be out in 35, 40 knots and two or three metres swell. So someone that has to be working in this area has to be used to the sea. An incredible 48 tonnes of mussels is being harvested today. The mussels grow on ropes or droppers, strung along what's called a backbone. They're tumbled to clean them up, then there's a visual check on a belt. What we've got here now is the, the mussels coming out of the harvester, yep. and the key is these are going straight to the factory, so we want to take out as much brokens, yep. just like this stuff here. See the old oyster? Yep. Take them out, boys want to eat them for tea. Makes life a bit easier at the factory. Yep. Okay, yep. so go for it. Currently, we've only got three main species we're, we're farming in New Zealand, which is mussels, oysters, and salmon. For the industry to reach its goal of growth, we'll be looking to farm new species. So the industry has is, is got a huge opportunity over the next 10 or 15 years. Most of our guys are all young, and they've all started off as deckhands, and they've all moved up the chain. Push that one right out, and then that one there forward as well which lowers it, boom, and it'll sit it in there for you. Yeah, very natural, bro. <laughs> Pretty confusing, because all the controls look the same and doesn't have a direction on what way to go or where it goes. <laughs> yeah, but no, it was pretty choice, yeah. Craig Solomon is operations manager for Green Shell. See, see this whale on? See how you, you make sure you cut it off at the base of the thing? Cut that off. Just take your time, just take your time. It's good to see the young people come through this as they can make a career. They can make a career out of um, this industry. There's a range of um, qualifications a young person could get these days which leads to a formal qualification standard, unit standards they're called. The unit standard system is not specific to mussel farming. It seems to be across the aquaculture sector with oyster farming, salmon farming and power farming. The boat is nearly full, so Waylon headed off to a seeding barge where the farming sequence starts. A sock is wrapped around the growing line, and the baby mussels are poured inside. They attach themselves to a rope and grow on until mature. OK, just a basic clove hitch. Just go around the back by once, cross it over and back through like that. You get good once you've done about 100 lines of them. Pretty good when the office is flat like this, but you have a two metre swell and a 30 knot wind coming through here, it's not that flash. Well, Wayland's asleep. 48 tonnes of mussels are on their way to export. And could you believe it? Wayland's asleep again. Wayland lives in Manaya, a tiny settlement close to Coromandel Town. This is where I've been brought up for 15 years. Yep. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So you see yourself part of it? Um, yeah, well, yeah, generation after generation, I suppose, yeah. I see myself a part of the muscle industry, and yeah. Murray play an important role in aquaculture, and uh, currently now, probably in Coromandel, I think 50% owned by, by local Maori or iwi. And in the future, it's only going to get bigger and bigger. That's a view shared by local elders Toko Renata and Harry McKerry. Unemployment has been a real problem in these rurally isolated communities, particularly Manaia. It's great to see our young people being able to get onto the water and being able to be involved in the, the management of that particular primary uh, industry. The mussels are processed in Fidianga, where they're exported as frozen product. So they're cooked, shucked, frozen and then boxed. Waylon gets a turn shucking on the processing line. Pretty good, Waylon. He's done this before. 
I think he's done well. Um, he's certainly got marine farming or uh, mussel farming in his blood. Uh, these two days have been yeah, enjoyable, had a lot of experience of mussel farming and my family would appreciate me probably coming into the mussel farming industry if I became a skipper or became a manager or even a boss of a mussel factory, yeah, they'll be quite impressed with me actually. <laughs> National certificates are available covering many aspects of the aquaculture industry. Level 2 recognises skills and knowledge leading into more advanced seafood qualifications. Aquaculture provides excellent job prospects in rural areas where unemployment is traditionally a problem. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.